Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. I haven't actually ever filmed a video like this and it just came to my mind and I thought, actually, there's quite a lot of things I've got my eye on recently. And the last year, I've been really strict with what I'm buying. I really kind of changed my shopping habits completely from fashion to homeware. I'm really thinking about purchases a lot more and I've come to the conclusion that I end up buying things that in a year's time I actually don't like and I don't wear and I give away or I get rid of them and I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to really think about my purchases. So one thing I always do is write a wish list on my phone. This could be photos that I've screenshotted or um, I just write things down and sometimes it's exact items. Other times it's just something that maybe when I'm getting dressed in the morning and I don't have something, I think, oh, that would be a good thing to have. I'll write it on my wish list. And then when it comes to shopping or when I'm in the mood to buy something new, I will then go back to that item and see if I still want it. I do the same with homeware as well. I always create mood boards, especially since moving. There's so many things we need to get all the time. I don't wanna just rush by. We've really taken our time with finding the perfect things and this process is very helpful because you just have a lot more time to actually think about your purchases. When we move out of this place in a year, I want furniture and the items that we've got to still hold a purpose and still look really beautiful anywhere. So this method of writing things down and then referring back to it is really helpful. So that being said, I thought I would film just a little sit down chatty video and go through my wish list with you. Um, I'll link everything below if I can and just kind of show you what is on my wish list for spring, um, things that I would like to update in the house, things that I would like to update in my wardrobe, and just the kind of things that I'm looking at recently. Okay, so grab yourself a cup of tea, a drink. I've got myself a Diet Coke, and let's get into it. I've got a huge mix of things on my wish list. I actually haven't tweaked these things or I haven't chosen anything for the video. This is literally just what is on my list. And I've been writing things down probably since the beginning of the year, I guess. So the last few months. And the first thing that I always write on my wish list every year, and I just haven't bought it, is a pair of the white Gucci Prince Town slip-on loafers. I will put pictures in here of everything I talk about. Um, and I will link them down below if I can. I absolutely love these. They are so timeless. I have a pair of black ones. They're not actually from Gucci. They're from a retailer that did some dupes and they kindly sent me them a few years ago and I didn't actually wear them at first I just didn't think they suited me about a year later I found them in my wardrobe and I started wearing them and I have now worn them to death so I would really like a black pair but because I already have the black pair I would love the white I think they would look gorgeous for spring summer just such a gorgeous shoe I love them so much so easy to style and I always think to myself when I'm wearing a neutral outfit, I always need a white shoe and I don't have it. The only thing I have that's a white shoe is like a trainer, but sometimes you want a smarter white shoe that's a little bit more spring, summer, and this is just exactly what I need in my wardrobe. So, a little bit expensive, but they are on my wish list. So, my birthday's coming up, perhaps I'll save for it, you know, that kind of thing. I like to invest in pieces like shoes and bags and things that I wear all the time because it really is worth the money. Next thing on my wish list, this is completely random, but I actually added this to my wish list last week. I've been seeing a lot of people wearing double denim in the last couple of weeks. It's everywhere. I just can't stop seeing double denim. A good few years ago, I also was obsessed with double denim and wore denim shirts, denim jackets, jeans, um, even like jumpsuits as well I wore all the time. I loved them. So easy to style. But I've kind of realised that blue denim isn't really my thing. I don't know what it is about it. I go through phases with jeans. Sometimes I like blue jeans. Sometimes I'm like, no, get away. It's not for me. As you guys know, my wardrobe is very neutral. The other day when I was getting dressed, I put on my grey jeans. They're like a dark charcoal grey. And I thought, oh my god, if I had a dark grey denim shirt to go with this, that would look amazing. I could have the double denim look, but more my style. Because I love the double denim look. I think it looks so great. Really seamless, really slick. 
So I started looking online and I have found one from H&M which I really like and I'd probably get it a couple of sizes up so that it's a little bit more boxy. Um, I'll link it down below, really good price point. But then I came across this and it's from a brand called Gestus or a designer. Um, I saw it on the Truva website, I'll put a picture of it in the screen and I just love the style of this. I love the collar, the kind of like pleating detail down the front with the stitching, I really love. I don't know if I'll get this one or if I'll maybe get the H&M one but a denim shirt that's grey is definitely on my wish list. Another thing on my wish list is another pair of shoes. I seem to just not have the right shoes in spring summer. I don't know what it is. Um, I've got two pairs of sandals that I wear religiously and my pair of loafers and that's it. I don't really have any nice kind of like evening shoes or anything a little bit summery. So one thing that I would love is a pair of nude or neutral heels. I absolutely adore my Dior heels and I wear them so much. And I actually also do have a couple of pairs of open toe, square toe mules from, I think I've got a few different types, some from ASOS, some from Ego, Public Desire, those kind of websites. And they're great and I absolutely love them. But I just don't have the right pair of nude shoe. So I've been having a look online and ASOS seem to have some really good nude open toe mules. I love them, they're so easy to wear, so stylish, they go with everything. Just such a classic shoe in your wardrobe. So I'm not actually sure what type of heel that I'm looking for. I haven't got a picture to show you because I'm not sure. But all I've written on my list is nude heel. But that is definitely something I need in my wardrobe for sure. So if you guys have got any nice nude heel recommendations or any brands that you love, let me know because I will definitely check them out. Okay, so that's kind of it for fashion. I feel like I've been wearing my wardrobe so well in the last year and I'm really like experimenting with pieces that I've already got and creating new looks and I'm loving it. I really, really am enjoying it. And I've realized there isn't really anything I need. There's nothing important that I don't have. There's the odd thing here and there but nothing essential. Homeware, on the other hand, now this is where my obsession is really, really going. I have a list as long as my arm of the things that I still would love to get for the apartment. It's still not finished at all. Um, there's still so many things we need to do and purchase, but like I said at the beginning, we're really taking this process slowly and trying to find things that are a little bit more unique. On my wish list, I have got a lot of things. So I'm gonna put some pictures in here to show you. I don't really have the exact item, it's mainly just a thing that I really want. This is a photo from Athena from Ice Wounds Instagram. I am just in love with her, she is incredible. If you don't follow her, what are you doing? I can't believe you don't follow her. I love her so much. And this whole photo that she has posted is just a dream, I love it. And those little stools that she's got, that's mainly what I've got my eye on in this photo. I would love to get a little boucle stool. Colt Furniture used to have one that I loved and it was just a little kind of like poof, I'll put a picture of it in here. And it had a little ridge at the bottom but the whole thing was boucle. Whereas I think it's sold out and they have it in taupe but they don't have it in cream. I don't know how I feel about the taupe. They do have some other versions but they've got gold around the bottom or um, like a little band at the bottom and I don't know if I like it. So I've put my name down on the waiting list and I'm hoping it will come back in stock and they can update me and I'll get that. I love little things like that that are really versatile. You could use it to sit on, put your feet on, move it around. I just, I really like things like that. Next up is a rug. We need a rug so much. I feel like because our living space is so open and I absolutely love it and we've got a wood floor, it needs to feel a little bit more cosy in our living area, especially when we've got our dining table and that section over there will feel like kitchen diner. I want this half here by the window to feel a little bit more cosy and a little bit more separate. So by adding a rug, that will really create a section, but I just can't find one I like. I'll put in a picture here. This is from Kelly Wurstler's Instagram, another Instagram interior designer that I love and I really like how this rug is neutral but it's got a little bit of something going on. I want something that really draws your eye to the floor and adds a bit of texture, a little bit of tone, but I just don't know what. So again, any ideas of places to look, do let me know. 
and I would definitely check them out. Next on my list is books. I love books, they are just one of my favourite accessories to style in the home and believe it or not, I don't just use my coffee table books as things to look at, I do actually use them a lot, especially for work when I'm looking for inspiration for campaign shoots and client shoots, but I just love reading them. Sometimes when Jack's got the rugby on or the football, that's what I'll do. I'll just sit and flick through my books. I love them so much. And two books that are on my wish list at the moment are by Athena from I Swoon, her Live Beautiful and her Cook Beautiful. I actually really would like to get some more recipe books and some more cooking books for the kitchen. In one of my vlogs recently, I showed you how I put the toaster in the cupboard very controversial and I actually watched a debate on Loose Women recently about that. Um, but I want the kitchen to feel a little bit more homely and less kitchen. So especially something I'm going to implement in our future home is having a more living vibe to the kitchen. So having cookery books and lamps and vases and things like that in your kitchen rather than having all your appliances out. So at the minute we've got our bonsai tree, we've got a really gorgeous fruit bowl, candles, things like that that just make it feel a little bit more homely. I'd love to have a few recipe books and cooking books just like stacked up. I think it would look really gorgeous. Another thing on my wish list is a big vase. I really want to get a big kind of like pot vase for the floor. Something similar to this from Zara Home but I think I will probably go to like a garden center or something like that to, to source it so it's a little bit more rustic and unique and not just from Zara. I would like one that's really big. Now that's why I say a garden center because they obviously have outdoor pots and I think that's what will work quite well. I'd like to have it standing on the floor and then I can have really big branches sticking out, kind of like this behind me, or I can have some really big branches with the leaves on or blossom. Next on my list is something quite practical but Something I think is really important when you enjoy hosting. Recently I've had my mum to stay and she knows me so well. She knows that I love to put a lot of effort into things and I like everything to just look perfect and fit my aesthetic in every way. And when she came over we had some wine and we had some crisps. And I put the crisps in a bowl, but the bowl I used was just our normal white china bowl. And then I thought, do you know what? I need some nice kind of serving wear things. A little bit different to our normal basic plates and bowls, something a bit more interesting, something that's gonna look really great on a table when you're hosting. And I also had the same situation where I made a pasta salad really big and I wanted to put it in a big bowl or a big serving tray, but I didn't have one. All I had was like a metal mixing bowl from Ikea and it just look, didn't look right. And as the weather is getting nicer and we're hopefully gonna get our dining table, I really wanna have friends over for dinners and things like that. So I really would like to get some new serving ware bits. Now this is where Zara Home really comes into play. I'm just obsessed with Zara Home. Who isn't? I mean, everyone and their mum loves that style. I can completely understand why. But I will put some pictures on the screen of the things that I'm talking about. So. I love these kind of serving ware dishes. They're really rustic, so gorgeous. I just love how they look. And then in terms of the bowls, for crisps and nuts and like edamame beans and things like that, I love these two designs. They're just so chic, really cool. I just think they'll look so great on like a linen tablecloth or my marble coffee table with like candles. I just love them. So that kind of section of serving ware, I really need to integrate into our kitchen. And then last of all is lighting. This is the last thing on my wish list. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know that I love nothing more than when it gets a little bit dark and you put your lamps on and you've got your candles lit and it really just sets the vibe of your room, especially in the evenings or when you've got friends to stay. I think you really have to create an atmosphere with your lighting. We never, ever, ever put our big lights on. Um, we never, ever use them. They're so bright. Uh, we always use lamps. We've actually got a few with Philips Hue bulbs, which means that you can dim them on your phone. They're so great. Really recommend getting them if you don't already. Just a couple more lamps to add to the space. In here, we've got two lamps, but we could definitely do with another one. And also in our spare room, we don't have any lamps. And at the minute I'm using that as my office. 
So I don't really have a light that I can put on there if I'm working in the evening. And I don't want to put the big light on because it's so bright. And obviously when guests are coming to stay, I want them to be able to have a nice soft light. So that's another thing I've been looking at from Zara Home. These two lights are something that I'm really loving. I love the linen lampshades and like the rustic base of the lamp. I think this cream one is probably what I will lean towards because it's a little bit more versatile. And I want the spare room to just be white and airy and really bright. Because we have got a grey carpet, I think it's really important to elevate the room with loads of gorgeous white textures. So that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Something a little bit different for me, but let me know if you do like these kind of sit down videos where I just sit and chat and show you some bits on the screen or whatever. Let me know down below if there's any videos that you want me to schedule in because I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I will leave all of my social links down below. So go and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and everything if you're not. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.